Well, Monday marks the 75th anniversary of Auschwitz, the Nazi concentration camp in Poland. Among the survivors freed that day, Eva Kaur, who went on to become an Indiana treasure. Which TV's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey spoke to Kaur's son and joins us now to explain how the state is commemorating the day. Brooke and Phil, Governor Holcomb issued a proclamation declaring Monday Eva Education Day. After leaving Auschwitz, she eventually settled in Terre Haute. Cora died last summer, but had spent much of her life teaching the public about the horrors of the Holocaust and the importance of never giving up. Auschwitz, for so many people, just the name brings up an all too real pain. Eva Cora, a child survivor of the Holocaust, knew that pain well. She was uh, a Mengele twin. She f survived Dr. Joseph Mengele's experiments. Eva died last summer after years of telling her story of survival and forgiveness. But as the 75th anniversary of Auschwitz liberation nears, her story and desire to educate, her son says, matters even more. In this day and age, there's a lot of people now that unfortunately say the Holocaust never occurred. Cora's son says it was a unique experience growing up Jewish in Terre Haute, Indiana, with two parents who survived the Holocaust. He's thankful the state is taking steps to teach children by distributing EVA educational toolkits to schools around the state. Uh, it's even more important to carry on my mom's work. In the last few years, Amber Mays with the Jewish Federation of Greater Indianapolis says there's been a spike in anti-Semitism. That's part of how you fight prejudice. That's part of how you fight hate is you learn about the failings of humanity in the past. She says recognizing this tragic moment in history will help shine a light on current problems around the world. There's genocide and human rights violations happening right this moment. Meantime, while Cor's son mourns his mom, he's thankful. Her story and mission meant so much to so many. She had a good heart and I'll miss her. And about 1,000 schools across the state and several hundred libraries receive the EVA educational toolkits. The governor's office has encouraged all schools to take time out of the day to show the children the documentary. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.